Hello everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day. Check the card if you missed last episode, and with that, welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. So, we had heck of an episode last time. Um, we, uh, yeah, I got to see some stuff go down with, uh, can't remember his name, Mikey's brother, uh, Drew. Was his name, I think. Um, got to see some stuff go down with him. Uh, we got the play. The play scene was awesome. And uh, we actually figured out who Sarah is. And it's Rachel's, I take it, biological mom. And that was the cliffhanger to that episode. So, uh, no idea where this episode's gonna go. But it's time to find out. I wanna tell you all of it. Oh wow. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. Of course. I didn't expect him to and jump right into this. Matters. Rose is my wife, and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook. Her name is Sarah. Yeah. Oh. Your <coughs> okay. Earth mother. I figured so. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything. I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? I mean, I don't know if you're truly ever ready to hear something like that, but <laughs> I'm ready to hear it. <laughs> Chloe. I'm here. I'm right here. Good. I need you. Oh, wow. This is getting... When I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Huh. Sometimes... I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of hmm. us were pursuing college, Careers, families. Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Oof, relatable. <laughs> when Sarah became. So this probably girl, freaked her out. I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. However, 
however much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. I'll figure that's kind of where that was. I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It Not bad. A kiss. Mm. Goodbye. I told her, and I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again, to keep you safe. We saw her talking to Frank. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes, but Rachel, it cannot be. Uh, I don't I don't know the age of Rachel, but She would be approaching the age that you don't get to tell her what to do anymore, you know? I mean, honestly, in this situation... Well, yeah, I don't know. I guess it just kind of depends. You think you have the right to decide that Oh, that was Chloe. Her? When I, I thought I was making that decision for Rachel. When I took Rachel away, I truly believe I saved her life. And I will continue to protect her no matter what. But maybe she's different now. I mean, people change, right? Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <sighs> Rachel. I think I need to lie down.
Understandable. That was a lot. That one go. can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Okay, uh, I feel like that gets a little rocky. We will definitely go see if she needs us, but I don't think we should be very... See, can we tap him? Yeah. <sighs> we won't be very hostile. Or... This must be hard for you too, Master Amber. Aggressive with it, it that's what far it. worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. <laughs> I've dreaded right. it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. He makes it sound like there's still a lot we don't know. Yeah, let's question that a little bit, maybe. I, I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah, but Rachel's not a baby Listen anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. That'd is this where you so asked me probably. to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. I don't really get what it means by try the truth. I just, that specifically doesn't really make sense in that context, does it? Like, I'm sure it just means that, like, Chloe has some kind of lippy thing to say about it, but, uh, not quite sure I want to say I will. Well, we'll say I will, because we that will. That is something but... I will always do. She's so young. You are, too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her, too, you know? I know. Thank you. Okay, well, because we've seen Sarah, uh... I think it was leaving the... Uh, Frank's RV, right? But I know like what that would immediately lead you to think is that we saw her like Buying drugs or something, but I mean it could be anything from like Maybe she's cleaned up her act and like Went to pay back a debt or something, you know <clears throat> That's why I wish I would have uh, looked through because i think we've got to see frank's books a couple different times i wish i'd have looked over those better and looked for sarah to Rachel see if there was that pretty hard yeah, yeah, yeah. we will i, I was see if she's okay yeah we're definitely gonna go check
Tocido. Oof. Oh, that's a that's a lot to throw at a person at once, but I guess in that situation you can't really just tell her apart. Uh, Rachel. Even though I still don't think he told us the whole story, but the important parts, I guess. I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Urgency kit. We were so close to making our break last night. Now... Be here for I don't know. Look. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so... Uh, alone. Odd question, but, well, I guess not really odd. It pertains to the current situation, but... Do you think... Like, I would, I don't really have any, like... Like, Chloe's situation is pretty... Uh, I relate to that pretty hard. But, like, Rachel's situation, as far as... Which I guess you could argue is similar to Chloe's, but, like, as far as, like, having both your parents in the picture and then one day figuring out that, hey, one of them is not, but, like, she's obviously either, like, she isn't Rachel, has obviously sensed that, and, like, because I, I thought she knew. Like, the way she was acting, I li I've said before that I literally thought she knew. And that she had some kind of situation with the dad to keep it quiet from... But I guess that's back when I thought it was an affair and not, like, the actual... But what I was getting at with that is, like... Do you think that maybe subconsciously Rachel was aware of the fact that, like, she didn't jive with the current mom, maybe? Like, I don't know, like... Like I said, I don't know, because I've never been in that situation, but, like, if you are... If you were in that situation, do you on some level kind of feel that? As far as, like, I don't know, I just don't connect to this person like I feel I should, kind of thing. <laughs> to our wonderful daughter on the night of her first show, Break a Leg. Because, I mean, the parents do seem to kind of... even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. The parents do seem... To care. Well, I guess at least the dad. We don't, we haven't talked to the mom much, but well, what little we have, she seems like a drone. But uh, the dad seemed to he could he could be kind of <clears throat> he could be a little rough from what it sounded like, but like makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. He seemed to be a lot, a lot better as in, like, David is what I was... Cool light. ...alluding to. This light needs more light. Right. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that nightlight. Well, uh, probably, probably something to do with that, but it's it intrigues me that like 
that's what they would do here is like well, I'm gonna come to light because I'm just <laughs> I've noticed sometimes whenever you get kind of down like lights and smells I don't know if it's just because you like crave the escape or if I like just overloads certain circuitry in the brain and you just all the other shit kind of fades to the back but it's it's just interesting that they go there because I've kind of found that kind of stuff hope in my personal life the ying so that's and inter interesting yang of Rachel Amber or before all else be um is there a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family drama? No? Four. So, I'm also curious, uh... If you've taken this, what are you? I'm, like, my three highest, oddly enough, was two being my highest and then one and three being my being my other two highest so i'm a helper performer and an achiever which i definitely get the helper but like individualist performer and a helper I can definitely see this. For sure. Urgency hey, you kids. always be safe. <laughs> sure. But from who? Good question. I don't know if we should be snooping in it, but oh, flashlight. That could work. Oh, I forgot we got uh, some of this earlier. Maybe we should look into it. <laughs> Um, oh, I really wish they'd let us scroll freely through these. I know it. And one click be. I know it was last minute. I'm glad you're doing well. It'd be nice to see you tonight. Are you coming home? Please close the game as you walk in. Chloe, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case you don't have your key. Please, please come home. Doesn't matter that it's after curfew. All my care right now. Please. Group SMS. Oh. Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We're at the Tempest cast party. I already texted Rachel like eight times. Hey, I don't think we're making it. Chloe, you should come. Yeah, Chloe, you did awesome. Great job tonight. Thanks, I can't. You totally saved me this. Are you there wouldn't have been any show. Seriously, just come. I'm Rachel, sorry guys. Yeah, we're uh, kind of in the middle of something. I kind of wish I could like text him back. I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. Please. Zero parties, zero apps. Makes sense. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Oh, Weird. Oh, this is lovely. Dear Miss Arcadia, what's the real deal with the fire north of town and what's going <laughs> to come down here? Friend. First, first, though. Day after all. Firewalk up here. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I don't. That's just a bunch of 
Rachel's always made being an A student seem so easy. Almost sad to see all this effort. <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Rachel's Hello. really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. I bet Rachel would rather be anywhere but here. I yeah, heard that's that probably Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. Really? Nathan's kind of a prick, but... A lot of the times, the people who are, like, huge douches just need the right people to talk to. All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Doors. Hey, check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there, which we almost never see. Guess I had a hunch. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all Lies. Yeah, most of them. It's actually kind of like, I don't want to really ruin the moment here, but like, <clears throat> that's actually kind of crazy to think about, actually. But like, half the stars we see are actually already dead. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? <sighs> it's all lies. Everything. <laughs> My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman, my real mom, she's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. Wow, yeah, I didn't really think about how devastating that would be to your
Yeah, that's like trust issues 101. <clears throat> I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. Yeah, so I think I will... I think I wasn't far off when I said that I think she kind of knew even if she didn't actually know <laughs> like she knew on some kind of level the fact that she's here right now that she came here for me I think I need to see her is that wrong? I mean, no, but I also don't know. <laughs> um. I don't think so, no. Of course not. But it, it might be tough to I track her down. don't yeah. think so. That's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. No idea where to start. Frank, maybe? I mean, she's kind of been following us around anyway. I think I know what to do. Yep. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Yeah, we're not on great terms course, with Frank. We know where she is. We need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. <laughs> it's like, I've been working on a truck, we can ditch, we got this. I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. <laughs> really? I'll give it my best. I know you will. But even if we find her... How will I talk to her? What do I say? Well, that's a tough one. <laughs> hmm. These are both... I don't know. These are... Because you won't know. How do you know? You won't. So, I, don't, I guess it doesn't matter. After my dad died, I didn't know how to keep talking to him. I still don't. But it doesn't matter. All that matters is that he's there. Your dad? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be. 
the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking... Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. True. I mean, kind of. <laughs> I see where she was going with that. <laughs> mm, speaking of. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Dad, I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? <laughs> Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are... Some of my favorite memories. We never... That wasn't... You. Hmm. Could have sworn that was me. Oh, wow. Uh... All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? What's wrong? Don't you see anything? So that's interesting. So I guess what this is telling us is Chloe's not... Chloe's not... And this is, this is me reading into that a little bit. But like... So maybe she's not necessarily against David in that sense. Maybe it's more she's afraid that... Afraid of him replacing that role in her head. As far as... Kind of what we just saw. I think is what that was alluding to. I guess we'll go along with this. Fine. It's the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said.
Something about the whole world being a stage. So might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. Oh. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Fuck you, Victoria. <sighs> wow. Hey, I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. Oh, he will be. I've got to get this exactly right. And I won't. I can That's do this. Guaranteed. Oh. Christ. I hate this already. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? So, uh, the situation was a lot more complicated than you told me. What are you talking about? I promise I can explain. I... I have a favor to ask you first. You can't be fucking serious. That is... I need to find that old. woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something hmm? important. Can you help? So it seemed like Frank can be kind of a dick, but like, if you ever like get serious with him, he always kind of seemed to understand. I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? I'll be in the junkyard in two hours. Wait. Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... That went well, I guess. Well, it could have went worse. <laughs> I don't know if it necessarily went well. What am I getting well. myself into? Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. First, let's see what... Rachel said... Thank you for being there for me last night. I feel a lot better. Guess what? You kick ass. Okay, that... Also, we're meeting Frank at the junkyard in two hours. I think he could get in touch. Get us in touch with Sarah. Holy shit. Yep, I'm still at my house. Just sharing and grabbing 
tools for the truck. Me, the junkyard. I'll be there. You're, am you're amazing. We kind of already checked out everything in here, so. Ooh, yikes. I don't think I saw this before. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Hopefully we don't get caught and this Is comes a big thing. Mom playing music? Huh. Huh. Well, I wouldn't know. We got that turned off. Thanks, YouTube. Uh, so I was right all along. Rachel Amber is a fucking evil bitch. Is that what? I hate the whole text thing in this game. Is an evil fucking bitch. Oh yeah, she totally is. I guess you think you're a little, you're her little sidekick now. Yup. I've had it with the school. Nobody gave a shit about me last night. It was all Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. You weren't involved, were you? Oh man, when you try to drug someone and then it bites you in the ass, that's just the worst. <laughs> oh. She deserved every bit of that. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay, my towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just... Lots of washcloths. No towel. Oh, I thought that was a trash can at first. It's probably a hamper. Put me in there. Oh, no. No awesome pirate towel. I don't really know why it'd be in the medicine cabinet, so... Score. Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were... kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate. Ooh. We never got around to it. Is this the... Beginning of Chloe's blue hair. Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water, don't let me down. Showers are the best sometimes. Hands down. Amazes me how she's doing all of this and not getting caught. Okay, yeah, there it is. Oh, I guess she was playing music or something. I guess that would probably explain. I need new clothes.
What oh, do I feel like dead. wearing on this? Dead. I forgot days. his name. I feel like they only said it like once. I'm like, who's William? But I think that's the dad, right? Chloe's. Oh boy, we have all kinds of bonus outfits. Classic Chloe. Oh shit. I mean, I think we have to go with the classic. We'll, we'll look at what else here. But... <clears throat> okay. I don't know if we really needed that long of a dragon. Oh, that's kind of cool, though. <laughs> the boots are a choice. Bonus outfits, is that what I said? Well, we have all kinds of options. A dog man. Oh, oh. Yep, that indeed. I think we'll just go classic. Can't be done with it. Yeah, we're just gonna go classic. Be done with it. Okay. All right, one last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Yikes. I don't Here know what's going to... Yeah. What are the chances I can avoid Mom or David? Very low, I'd say. Very low. <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. That's, that's tough for Chloe anyway. <laughs> like, for Joyce, that situation is fine. I mean, she's moving on, that's what you gotta do, but yikes. From Chloe's perspective, that blows. Hey, who's there? Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. I'm also glad you came home, Chloe. Try to avoid A as much as we can, but... I'm... I'm not staying long. Just... Huh. Picking up some stuff. Oh. Are you... 
Coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. <sighs> I'm going to go with A. And I hope that and I hope I'm remembering correctly that her name is Joyce, Chloe's mom. I think it is, but I'm going to go with A in the hopes that Joyce just don't immediately go to... Why are you... Why are you out hanging with Rachel when I'm worried about you? And <laughs> You know, I just hope it doesn't go that direction. But... I'm... I'm just hanging out I hope it's Rachel. more... Is everything oh, right? how is Rachel? Okay. I was telling David about the play and you being in it. Good. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Oh, God. Mom. I doubt it's good, but I don't know. He seems to be kind of hard Chloe. to predict. I, uh, I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. Please. Okay. I owe you an apology. Let's hear it. <sighs> Chloe. I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. I was, uh, out of line, and I'm sorry. I mean, that's, that's kind of big. Okay. Apology accepted. Really? Yeah. Good job. And good job, Mom, for twisting his arm or whatever. Chloe. What? I figured that's what she'd It's do. great. He listens to you. Can we be done now? Wait. One second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been... Meaning to show you something. Maybe. Maybe oh, now's a good time. This. Is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was. Killed. Near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you, give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. That is huge. 
Should have started off with this shit, David. I'm just curious if this is all David. Or a little bit of Joyce, too. But if it truly is David, then that was a huge freaking step. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. Wow, that was a huge moment. I feel like they just kind of breezed over it. I guess. Uh, actually, the more I think about that, I guess that pretty well sets up the entire atmosphere for the the first game, as far Come as on. that goes. Work with me here. a bit more love I can salvage this beast I just need to find the right tool for each problem Ooh, we got a text from David okay this is David did my mom give you my number yes yeah, she did I noticed you took your father's toolbox you're working on projects, what, of, what kind of project? Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. I'm glad to see you taking an interest in something. Keep it up. Is this the same dude? <laughs> I'm harsh to David. Just because... He put he plays a role in here that like I can kind of relate to a person in my life that aggravates the living hell out of me. But uh quite different circumstances, cause like he seems to be trying, but like he also moved in, so maybe it was a little bit of like
mutual annoyance towards each other. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Chloe is, like, seeing him as, like, trying to replace somebody, and he's actively trying to replace somebody, and it's just deep butt heads. But, yeah, this is, like, a completely different person. But, with that, I think I want to leave this episode here. What an episode. Um, it's almost kind of interesting that, like, we kind of flipped the script as far as Chloe and Rachel. Like, we went from... Rachel kind of having everything, and Chloe getting absolutely screwed, to now Chloe's side's looking up, and Rachel's going downhill. But, uh, I guess Chloe's still having the dreams, which are concerning to say the least, but, oh, I don't know, it's getting interesting. As always. Thanks for watching. Love y'all. See you in the next one. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. Of everything you know that you could get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget.